In the last lecture, we learned how to implement a simple filtering logic to our Express app through query strings. And there we also learned that that implementation will not work in some of the scenarios. For example, if I go to VS Code, so basically this implementation here, it will not work in some of the scenarios. And one of the example where this implementation will not work is when we are passing some query strings with which we do not have a field in the movie object. So for example, here we have this request.query object logged. And in this query object, if you see, we have this duration field and we have this ratings field. So these are the fields which is also available on the movie model. So in the movie model, we have the duration field and we have the ratings field. But we don't have this sort field and this page field for this movie model. But in this query object, we also have this sort field and this page field. That's because we have also specified the sort query string with the value 1 and page query string with the value 12. So in this scenario, when we are passing this object as the filter object to this find method, here the find method will try to filter those movie documents where the duration is 118 minutes, ratings is 7, sort is 1 and page is 12. But on the movie object, we do not have this sort and this page field. So in that case, this implement should not work. Now this implementation is working with Mongoose 7.0. But this implementation might not work with Mongoose 6.0 or less. So if you're using Mongoose 6.0 or less, in that case, you need to find a workaround in order to make this implementation work. And that's what I'm going to show here. But if you're using Mongoose 7.0, then you can simply skip this lecture. So for the workaround, what we are going to do is, here we have the query object. Now from this query object, we might want to remove some fields. We might want to exclude some fields. For example, we might want to exclude this sort field, this page field in this example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an array of fields which we want to exclude. So let's simply call it exclude fields. And there let's specify the fields which we want to exclude from this query object. So there the first field which we want to exclude is sort. Then we also want to exclude page. Okay, then we have this limit field which we might want to exclude and then we might have this fields field which we want to exclude okay so this array contains a list of fields which we might want to exclude from the query object now we are not going to exclude the fields from the original query object so here the original query object is this request.query so instead of excluding these fields from this object what we are going to do is we are going to create a shallow copy of this request.query object. So let me go ahead and let me call this object maybe query object. Okay. And to this, let's go ahead and let's assign request.query. Now keep in mind that in this way, we are not going to create a shallow copy. Here what will happen is in the memory, there will be an object, the query object and both of these will point to the same object okay both of these will have a reference to the same object so here we are not creating a shallow copy the best way to create a shallow copy is to use the spread operator on the object so what this spread operator does is it will extract each property of the query object and it will create it as individual properties and we can wrap those properties within these curly braces so now those properties will become a property of this new object so this is one way of creating a shallow copy and now we are going to perform all our operations on this shallow copy on this query object so now what we want is from this query object we want to remove all those fields which we don't want in the query object and to do that what we are going to do is on this exclude fields array we are going to use for each loop and we are going to use this for each loop to loop over this exclude fields array and there we need to pass a callback function so for that I'm using this arrow function syntax and inside this callback function we are going to write a simple logic where we want to delete that field from the query object which has this name el so basically for this for each loop 
when it is looping over this exclude fields array for each iteration we are going to receive that element inside this el variable this el parameter so for each iteration we will check if this query object contains a field with that name in that case we want to delete it otherwise we want to continue the next iteration so in this way if this query object contains any of these fields then that will be deleted from the query object for example let's say this query object is this object so in this object when we are looping over this exclude fields array it will check if this query object has a field called sort so here in this example we have this field called sort so that will be deleted from this query object then in the next iteration it will check if this query object has a field called page so here we do have a field called page so that will also get deleted from this query object then in the next iteration it will check if we have any field called limit in this query object here we don't have any field called limit so it will start the next iteration in the next iteration it will check if this query object has a field called fields we do not have it here so again it will start the next iteration for the next iteration we don't have any other elements so the loop will terminate and the control will move to the next line i hope it's clear so now let me go ahead and let me also log this query object okay so we are logging the original query object using this request.query and we are also logging the query object which we have modified okay let's save the changes here let's go to postman so here you can see in the url we also have some query strings now let me simply go ahead and let me click on this send button so a request has been sent we have some result but we don't need to worry about that let's go to vs code and there you will notice that request.query object has been logged here and the query object that means this object has been logged here so if you notice in the request.query object we have all the fields which we are passing in the query string okay but in the query object we only have duration and ratings this sort and page has been eliminated from this object and now you can simply go ahead and pass that object to this find method okay let's save the changes let's go to postman again and there if i click on this send button it is still working because still we are receiving only one movie object in the response so that is the case with mongoose 7.0 but if you're using mongoose 6.0 or less then in that case this might not work okay in that case we might need to use this approach here which i'm explaining so let me go back to postman and here duration is 180 minutes rating is 7 so in the response we should receive that movie object whose duration is 118 minutes and ratings is 7 if i click on this send button you can see we are receiving that movie object so we are receiving a single movie object and in that movie object the ratings is 7 and duration is 118 minutes okay now let me go back to vs code and there i am going to provide two comments let me remove this console.log statement from here and let's also remove this console.log statement so we saw that in case of mongoose 7.0 we don't need to perform these extra operations right we can simply pass the query object which we are receiving with the request that means we can simply pass this request.query to this find method but in case if you are using mongoose 6.0 or less in that case this approach might not work as expected so for that in order to make this work we are performing some extra operations here so this code here it is going to work with mongoose 6.0 or less okay let's move this line also here and i will simply comment it all right so if you're using mongoose 6.0 you can simply go ahead and you can use this implementation but if you're using mongoose 7.0 in that case you don't need that implementation so i'll copy this code from here and let's go ahead and let's paste it here and there instead of specifying query object let's simply specify request.query okay and let's go to postman and let's simply test it out 
So if I click on this send button, we should still receive the same response. We should still receive only one movie object in the response where the duration is 118 minutes and ratings is 7. And that's what you will see here. Alright, so this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.